Hi, it's Trisha. Hope you can hear me. It is raining like crazy outside, and uh, it's a lovely sound on the camper roof, really. It, it usually uh, is very soothing, but um, we're going to try this, see if you can hear my words. So today I want to talk to you about signs, and um, I don't know if you're a believer in signs. Some people, you know, live by them, and some people, um, you know, kind of have a superstition about them. My grandma was kind of quirky about that, kind of quirky and superstitious. She was raised in the Kentucky Hills, and uh, she had funny ways, and, and I think I've probably absorbed a little bit of that into my being, but... I remember one of her superstitions was that if a picture fell off the wall in your house, that person was going to die. So you can imagine the fear and dread that, you know, when, when my little brother's picture fell off the wall and it was like, oh no, what now? So fortunately it didn't happen, but that was just, that was grandma's saying. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little quirky because I, I look around for signs to um, uh, remind me of things or to justify what I'm doing or to um, whatever. And we've got this horse um, that we pass by every day in a pasture and um, we just kind of adopted it. it. You know, we don't have to take care of anything, but we call it our horse and we've named the horse McLeod. And I've noticed that, you know, I always look for McLeod when I'm driving to or from home and there's some days when when he's uh, standing at the fence and there's some days when he's out galloping across the pasture and, and but there's some days when his ass is facing me directly and I just choose that to be a reminder to myself as I'm going to work or I'm going home to not be an ass not be a horse's ass and I, you know, I chuckle every time I see it, like, okay, thanks, McLeod, I needed that today. And uh, so that's one of my quirky ways. But um, there are signs that affirm that you've taken a step in the right direction, um, doors are opening, and that has happened to me in the last couple of days. And I just want to share it with you because... Um, as you know, I, I talked yesterday about starting the 90-day challenge, and my, my intent is to celebrate Independence Day with being independent from working for anyone else except myself. So, um, you know, setting that intention and making that decision and then embracing the belief that it's possible um, has opened some doors immediately and and so we you know when things like this happen we kind of go huh wow you know and it happens and I'm just I'm here to tell you that when you make a decision and you start taking action and you follow the belief and the passion in your heart that doors do open and so today I get an email inviting me to be a speaker on this telesummit that is called living life the conscious way and there's 21 experts speaking during this telesummit and I've been invited to be a speaker and I don't know is it coincidence? nah it's because I made a decision and um, I'm going to be sharing more about that event you're going to hear about it be invited to it but this is just pretty dang cool and it's an affirmation and it is um, just an aha that yes doors open and you keep going through them and you go through the next door and the next door and the next door and so i was excited to share that with you today so you can find us anytime you want we're a naked hippies road trip we're on google we're on facebook trisha barnes bruce barnes look us up we'd love to chat with you get an email, whatever. So we're here to help you and to let you know that we did it and you can do it too. Thanks.